For some reason, us diehard college football fans take great pride in knowing all the players and everything that happens in a college football season, no matter how irrelevant it may be. You may be asking what the point in me bringing that up is, and it's because the subject of today's video is one of those players that everyone remembers for really no reason. Taj Boyd became a star quarterback for Clemson, and then Deshaun Watson took the reins, and then you had Kelly Bryant before Trevor Lawrence took his spot. Where am I going with this, you may be wondering. Well, the diehard college football fan would stop me in my tracks and say, Scott, you forgot about the quarterback between Taj Boyd and Deshaun Watson. Believe it or not, there was a quarterback who started games for Clemson between those two stars, and I like to call him the forgotten Clemson quarterback, and his name is Cole Stout. He didn't play a ton, but he was an interesting player nonetheless, and today we're going to talk about him, his story, his time at Clemson, and what eventually happened to him. But first, be sure to give the video a like if you want to support the channel, subscribe if you love college football, suggest another player or topic I should do next, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload of mine. We'll talk about all that and more and what happened to Cole Strout right after the intro. I've been having hood dreams, ball player, rap star, Billy Ben Tate, BMW, I ain't got no black on the dog, baby. Two twin dogs and make them shake it like a saw shake. Ain't make it to the league, but I'm still ballin'. I was born for this. Never thought I'd see the day when I can make it. Should I go legit? Going back in time, Cole Stout was a high school football star for Dublin Kaufman High School in Ohio, and he actually went to the same high school as the legendary Brady Quinn. He would eventually become a star while he was there and break most of Brady Quinn's career records. In his high school career, Stout passed for 4,393 yards, 52 touchdowns, and only 11 interceptions. He also holds the school record for career wins as a starting quarterback, and despite all of that, he was not super highly recruited as he was getting pursued by Clemson, Arizona State, and Colorado, which were his best three offers and the only major schools that really wanted him. His primary recruiter at the time was Billy Napier, and personally, I think that Napier is going to be a big-time coach here in a few years, and in case you don't know who he is, he was Alabama's wide receivers coach for a while and is now the head coach at Louisiana, and he's brought that program to relevance. He loved Coach Napier in the Clemson program, so he committed to the Tigers, and he was just your average three-star quarterback, and a guy who was probably projected to be a career backup. According to 24-7 Sports, he was a number 27 pro-style quarterback and the 717th best player in the class of 2011. He arrived at Clemson as a backup and was not supposed to be a star, but not a bench warmer either. He appeared in six games as a backup freshman and even got to play in the Orange Bowl a bit. He threw for over 100 yards and didn't record a touchdown or an interception. In 2012, he appeared in five games and actually threw for over 200 yards and three touchdowns total. In 2013, he played in nine games this time and passed for 415 yards and five scores. And with Taj Boyd now gone, he was going to get a chance to start his senior year. And I mean, he earned it, didn't he? Except the Tigers signed Georgia high school football superstar Deshaun Watson and Cole's chances to start were looking somewhat grim. They also had hotshot blue chip quarterback Chad Kelly on the roster, but he was dismissed from the program. Coach Sweeney had this to say about that. Kelly has had a pattern of behavior that is not consistent with the values of our program. I hope he will mature and grow from this and become the man and player I know he can be. I wish him nothing but the best in the future academically and athletically. As we know, Kelly would go on to become somewhat of a star for Ole Miss and eventually become an Indianapolis Colt after he was drafted as Mr. Irrelevant. Speaking of irrelevant, let's get back to talking about Cole's story. The coaching staff thought very highly of him, and Chad Morris had this to say, Stout has been very consistent the entire spring. He's been that steady Eddie type of guy. Never too high, never too low. So it was good to see that with him today. Yes, that's the same Chad Morris who was at SMU and had one of the worst tenures ever at Arkansas, but he was a good coordinator back in the day. Head coach Sweeney had similar things to say as he said, quote, It should be pretty obvious that he won the job. He's a great leader who was highly respected by his teammates. He never once complained. He was always ready when we needed him. He has earned it, and he will be named the starter. He was the team's starting quarterback, but Watson was on his heels by the time the Louisville game had rolled around, and honestly, the reason Stout probably started was because Watson was dealing with injuries in the fall and spring before. It was kind of similar to the Trevor Lawrence type. It was pretty similar to the Trevor Lawrence-Kelly Bryant saga in 2018, and Watson was named the starter for the Tigers. Stout was upset, as you could probably expect, but he showed his true colors, and it showed a lot about his character as he had this to say. Quote, I saw it two ways. One way, I could just say, screw this and move on, but I decided to get my mind right and go out there and make myself better every single day, because there'd be a time when my opportunity would come up again. It seems like good things always happen to good people, because the story does not end for him yet. 
Just a short time later, Watson hurt his finger against Louisville, and he came in and helped them win the game. No, Cole did not play as good as Watson, and he didn't even play that well, but he managed to help them escape with a win, and that's all that really mattered. He played until Watson was healthy again, and that was his role. Then Watson got hurt again, and Cole had to play against Georgia Tech and Georgia State. They lost pretty badly to Georgia Tech, but he played well against Georgia State and had his last rodeo in their bowl game. You may be thinking, I forgot about the time where they played South Carolina and Watson played on a torn ACL, and they would win that game, and that was the first time they had beaten the Gamecocks in five years. But Cole would get a chance to play in the bowl game because Deshaun Watson would require season-ending surgery after that. He would save his best for last as he had the best game of his career. He dominated Oklahoma and completed 26 of 36 passes for 319 yards and three touchdowns. He also added a two-yard quarterback sneak late in the third quarter, and he got a total of four scores in his last game. This is what he said about the game. Quote, I wouldn't say this was redemption. This was my last game. I was prepared to do my best. I wanted to be the best I could be and just enjoy the last game. And that is what we did. From there, he went down as one of the most respected and accurate quarterbacks in Clemson football history, and he was beloved by the fan base and everyone on the team. He was probably not going to get much of a chance in the NFL, but he signed with the San Diego Chargers as an undrafted free agent, and he could at least say he made it to the NFL, whether it was short or not. From there, he went into coaching at Jacksonville State, and as of 2018, he is now the quarterback's coach for Moorhead State. No, it's not the biggest school in the world, but he is slowly working his way up the coaching ladder. Cole Stout is a coach and could eventually make it all the way to the FBS level someday, and I'm going to keep an eye on him. With his attitude in college, his role in college, and just the kind of person he was, coaching seemed like it made a lot of sense for him, and I'm rooting for him. I honestly barely remembered him at Clemson until I did some research, but making today's video has made me appreciate his career a lot more, and he just has a great college football story. He can teach us to work hard, wait for our moment, and take advantage of the opportunities, and that's something we can all learn from. He also didn't run from adversity, and when things got tough, he got his mind right and got back to work, which is something we can all work on. Cole's career was great, and his story is what's so good about college football. But, I want to know your thoughts. What do you think of today's story? What do you think of Cole Stout? And do you guys honestly remember him? I want to know your thoughts as a Clemson fan, and also let me know another player like this I should do next, someone that is nostalgic, or someone that is a great college football guy. Of course, be sure to give the video a like if you support the channel before you go and enjoy the content, and subscribe if you're new, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I have videos about Deion Kane, Kelly Bryant, Hunter Johnson, and Trevor Lawrence. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.